We cannot escape danger or the fear of it by crawling into bed and pulling the covers over our heads. The Roosevelt administration is this powerful group which has been carrying this country toward war. Never before has our American civilization been in such danger as now. Frankly and definitely, there is danger ahead. I speak to you now as your student council president for one last time. On April 3rd, Harvard's lacrosse team arrived in Annapolis to play the Navy. But one of Harvard's players was black, and no midshipman would take to the field. The Harvard administration was presented with a decision that day. We have a petition. We're requesting a change in policy. A guarantee that racial segregation will never again be tolerated or bowed to. Not only within the walls of this college, but also beyond. Annapolis officials have been reminded that Harvard is not accustomed to such, to having such alternatives offered to it by any man. This includes all three full admirals of the United States Navy. People of Europe who are defending themselves do not ask us to do their fighting. They ask us for the implements of war, the planes, tanks, the guns, a message came for you. From who? President Conan. We have furnished the British great material support, and we will furnish far more in the future. Spoke to President Roosevelt on the Atlantic telephone last night with a view to arranging the timing of our respective declarations that American time is nearly six hours behind ours. Meanwhile, hostilities have already begun. I understand you have a petition for me. It's already signed. How many signatures? 300 freshman signatures within the first 15 minutes. We do have some faculty signing and a few upperclassmen. I just finished writing a letter to Admiral Wilson of the U.S. Naval Academy. I was writing to apologize to him for sending Lucian there to play. Now, because you are the president of Harvard Student Council, I wanted to give you one reason why I sent this letter. The Harvard Teachers Association has issued a statement of their own regarding the incident at the game. I'd like you to be sure that that is printed on tomorrow's front page of the Crimson. Langdon, there's one other thing I'd like you to do for me. I understand you are to make a speech at graduation? Yes, sir, as is tradition for the student council president. The Harvard chapter of the American Student Defense League is not under faculty guidance, although it has received some Faculty advice? <laughs> Thank God for that. They would like the student government to acquire federal supervision for military training. Military training? You do know that two-thirds of the student body is protesting any involvement in this war. Because this is Harvard, you think that the government will supervise our own training camp for students? Uh, yeah. Huh. And I understand the idea of war is not very popular on campus. Unfortunately, the incident at the Navy game has contributed to this unrest and 
turmoil on campus. I had to write the letter to try and diffuse some of the tension. Recently, I traveled to England to meet with Mr. Churchill and his war cabinet. I was sent there by President Roosevelt to meet with them and discuss the United States' involvement in the war. Over the past year, logic has given way to fear in so many ways. And now it seems our involvement in the war is not only possible, it's inevitable. I know it's not my place, but may I tell you what I think, honestly? I would be grateful. If war does come, these students cannot fight without faith, but a faith that is their own, one remolded and reshaped from the old. I'm sorry. I want you to be sure to include this in your speech. This envelope contains all the necessary information. Show it to no one. What happens now behind these closed doors must never be told, but they must be warned. The student council decided late last night to investigate the advisability of starting a system of military training for college students. Harvard scientists have already mobilized Laboratories are being turned over to war research. The curriculum of Harvard College is being altered to allow many of you to complete your studies before departing for war. Most of us will soon be far removed from the red brick buildings and the white towers of the college. But now, we have a responsibility for our world. And if this should be the last Harvard class for many years to come, we hope we will have succeeded in our effort to capture the life and thought, the meaning that the conflict of today holds for us, a university at war during a time of giant events.